what's up guys? We've seen a small review or in, uh, introduction to our PBR and let's do it with the first order. Remember first order is essentially just KCA. One important thing to or I want to mark here is that we are basing it on the uh, catalyst mass not in the volume so this symbol here is very important but the right part of the equation stays the same. So uh, let's design it. How will it get if we had this reactor, we have this pack bed, remember it doesn't move. This has a certain mass of catalyst and this is based on this reaction. So you get your inlet, sorry, here and your outlet. Let's do it. <clears throat> you remember this is my design equation for any type of reaction in a PBR. Okay? It's in conversion. I told you we don't want conversion, so we are going to change that later. But let's keep going as it's like normal uh, calculation of the reactor. I'm going to plug in this part here in this here. So that's why I have, have it here. Now remember f of a zero can be substituted with this. And remember that concentration is a function of conversion too. So here. Let's keep going. Uh, once again this is because we have pressure drops. So we cannot get rid of that. That comes from our stoichiometric tables. Uh, if you want to see them, they are in chapter 3. Go to stoichiometry tables and you will find out how to use it for a PBR. Uh, this is the correction for the volume and this is actually the normal changing concentration. I just plug that here. Look, this whole concentration, I put it here. And it's here actually. Here the pressure changes, the conversion, the change in volume and this was FA0, I just changed it. Now, I got this equation, good. I got all this to the right, this is a constant, that's okay. This is not dependent on X and this is not dependent or is it dependent? That's the true question here. Uh, because I got a function that depends on conversion and in mass. So at the initial conditions I have zero conversion because I have zero mass of catalyst used. But I'm telling you guys that in this case the pressure will change. So you will see that pressure changes with respect of conversion. So the more conversion you get, so let's say it gets near one, the more pressure drops. So we need an equation that models that drop. But anyways, just have it in mind, we still don't know how to do it, so let's go and see if in the second order we can get rid of that. Which probably you've been working so far, you will know that it's not possible. PBR with a second order reaction. We have it, second order rate law, and then we get the design equation, which we have it. Essentially the same we do what we did before, the only thing it changes here. And yeah, my right here, remember my right, I'm just going to substitute it here, so that's why I got that here. Now, concentration by definition, we use the same concentration for PBR. This comes from the stoichiometric tables I told you before, and we get something like this. Only The only detail is that this thing is to the square power, and we still need to substitute that. So we substitute the one here, and we substitute all these square guys and yeah essentially we are done once again we have a conversion we have uh, mass what else mm. we still know and actually it's getting worse because that square doesn't seem good it seems that actually the pressure drop affects as double or as a square so we need that equation still so why not just check what or what type of, com of equation can we use? So, as I told you before, there's one small detail. The pressure changes as conversion changes or advances. This conversion is dependent of the mass of catalyst. So, essentially, pressure is dependent on, or pressure drop is dependent on conversion. And since conversion is dependent on the catalyst, the pressure drop is also dependent on catalyst used. So this pressure, as I told you before, P, maybe this is just a multiplication, but in the second order it was twice or to the square root, uh, to the second power. So you will see that it gets complicated and complicated as you change the order. 
and pressure is a key factor. So we need a model for that. This means not only that, but we will have two functions. Remember we got function of x and w. Well, we have it. we're going to find out a function that takes care into x and p. And what's that equation? Well, we're going to see that in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.